this is how Nifi UI looks like. We can add a processor by just dragging this icon here. As you can see, currently we have 349 processors present. But uh, for our use case, we'll use the first processor we'll use is get file. So let's just add that. What this uh, processor basically does is it will create a flow file from files in the directory. Okay, so let's just add it. You'll have to configure certain properties for this particular processor. As you can see, uh, one such property is in input directory. We'll uh, just add uh, this directory, somewhat this. So this is input directory. We have added that and uh, this is the demo file. This is the file which we'll use for the demo. Okay, so this is the location of that file. It contains two JSON objects in form of an array. And uh, let's just go to our NIFI UI. You can see the get file processor is there, but there's a warning sign it's saying relations, relationship success is invalid. So this is because we have to uh, either terminate the success uh, relation or we have to connect it to uh, another processor. So to and give, give it a logical ending. In our case, the next processor we will use is split JSON processor. So what this processor will do, uh, as you can see in our, uh, in our uh, JSON file, we have an array, array of JSON and we have two JSON objects in it. This processor, what it will do is it will convert it into two different objects. Okay. So let's just add this processor and connect uh, the relationship here. As you can see, the relationship is now connected. Now the warning sign is gone and you can well go ahead and start the processor. So let's just copy a demo file in the demo folder and let's just start our processor okay so you can see uh, you got one success uh, file let's just list this queue and you'll see yes there was this file demo to to dot json we just copied and uh, you can view the content of this json by clicking on this view icon as you can see this is the same content which was there in the file itself okay so let's just close this file so now we'll have to configure configure or split json for our next uh, flow after splitting json for a demo we will be publishing it uh, we will transforming it by jol transformer to a different json so i'm adding one more processor jol transform json so jol transformation this particular processor what it does it will convert a json into another json and it provides us multitude of features of converting one json whether it be it it can perform aggregations as well it can perform transformation so it's, it's a very useful uh, functionality okay so let's connect a, a success relation to the JOL transformation and we'll say ki, okay, whatever the split uh, response is, we'll transfer it into JOL uh, transform JSON, okay? And since we have to uh, configure some, okay, so uh, we have uh, a split JSON processor here. As you can see, it's showing it's invalid. We have to configure certain properties. So we'll have to configure a JSON path expression. So it will basically tell ki how to split that array. Okay. So we will just configure it using uh, this that you just split it uh, in form of a single single object and we'll apply this JSON path expression. And as you can see, it's uh, there is still a warning sign. You, can st you cannot start this processor until unless all the warning is being fulfilled. So it's showing relationship failure and relationship original is invalid. So what you can do is just open this uh, processor and on that relationship, turn it this failure and uh, this uh, original relationship. Okay, you can basically, if you want for failures, you can uh, configure another processor and you can log it using log attribute processor. Uh, that depends on you. I mean, for this demo, I'm terminating these two. Okay, so as you can see, as soon as I've uh, removed all the warnings which were shown, the red icon is, uh, has appeared. 
now what i have to have to do is simply just start this processor okay meanwhile you can see there is uh, this uh, jol transformer also is showing certain warnings as you can see the one first warning is uh, the relationship for uh, failure we can terminate for success we'll uh, sh simply add one more uh, processor that is publish kafka processor and we can just simply add this by connecting the success relationship and meanwhile you can see this uh, we got the split record and it took cert it took some time because the yield duration was 1 second you can reduce it okay now let's just view what is there what content is there just list it you can see there are two uh, uh, attributes are uh, occurring uh, flow file attributes occurring from it flow files occurring from it and you can view each of them this is the first uh, value of the array and this is the second value of error so it success it has successfully split our two array into two JSON object one array into two JSON objects which are present in the array okay so moving on uh, since we have split the record we'll further proceed with making some transformation so we'll configure this JOL transformation transformation. As you can see, still warning sh warning sign is being uh, shown because we have to specify what kind of transformation is needed. And you can do that by simply going to properties file and you can just click on, you can either uh, have the JOL specification here or you can simply click on advance and write your specification. See, uh, we have a warning sign on our JOL transformation still. Now this is because we have not specified the specification or the kind of transformation which we want for a JSON. For this, for this what we can do is we can simply open this properties file and we can either specify, uh, we can just click on this advanced icon here and you will see a John, uh, JOL transformation DSL is mentioned that is train and you can mention the JOL specification. Uh, for our use case what we are doing is we are mentioning this or JSON is this uh, object right. So we'll just copy it from here and we'll put uh, the input here and first we'll val validate the specification. The specification is valid and then we'll transform. As you can see, this was the input JSON and this is the output JSON. This is, this is what that will happen once you configure this uh, specification. Now just save it and just close this. As you can see, as, you have, as soon as you have updated that invalid uh, configuration thing this uh, red icon has appeared now you can simply start this processor okay meanwhile uh, you can see there are certain properties for uh, publish kafka uh, which we have to configure one is this topic name success and failure uh, we will configure that the broker is this we'll uh, for a look we have installed kafka on local we'll mention the topic name has uh, for demo knife file this is the topic name and we'll just apply it also meanwhile you can see the uh, we got uh, the success uh, uh, message after the whatever the transformation was set here we have got that we can simply view this by clicking on this list queue as you can see the transformation was good enough we can check for uh, check for uh, that is pub published Kafka and uh, as you can see there is still a warning sign topic uh, name is required oh I guess we configured it but we forget to forget to save it so we'll apply it and as soon as we apply this uh, warning sign is removed and a red icon is there we have conf we have created this topic and it's there uh, we'll just uh, start hearing this so as you can see we have uh, opened a consumer now let's just start this okay so within one second we will be able to hear 
uh, whatever was in the queue okay so this was there and it got successfully published to kafka okay so that was with the demo so as you can uh, i'm sure you enjoyed it and uh, within few minutes we configured this uh, interesting flow and you can do much more with all the 349 processes processes present go ahead and explore this wonderful utility